just gonna process all this and I'll come grab ya. And we'll go I'll down take and sell the drug dealer and I'll help you get set up here. You need to you need to sort of get yourself your rebel license and buy a house in Nathira because as soon as you get your rebel license, you can't spawn in Nathira any. Really? Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, wow. I guess I did that in the correct order on accident. I grabbed my rebel license, went to Ethera, bought a house, and then logged off. And I guess I just spawned at my house, yeah. So when you have your rebel license, you can spawn in Ethera, Pyrgos, and Sophia. You can only spawn Kavala. No, you can't spawn in Kavala. Oh, okay. okay. If you're looking at joining the gang, there's a few decent ones like RMC, NG, Deathwatch, uh, No Homo, they're all pretty big. But I'd get yourself sort of 10 mil before you go joining gangs because as soon as you join one, you typically don't do any runs anymore. You just do gang shit and you don't really make a huge amount of money off that unless you're robbing guys. Right, right. You, you said you're a Deathwatch, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I kind of wanted to join. RMC rubbed me wrong when I first joined the server. Some dude went to come help me, and he seemed like a chachi little squeaky kid. <clears throat> so yeah, Overwatch was the one. Deathwatch was the one that I was like seeing you guys run around, and I was like, huh, kind of want to see what they're up to. Yeah, it's a good gang, but it's it's like eighty percent of the gang is admins, so. You start something and then they'll stop because guys will have to go deal with shit and it can be a bit choppy. But then the benefit is you typically get looked after a bit quicker because obviously everyone you play with is an admin. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. No, no, I feel kind of bad. Winter kind of fell off the face of the planet with the other startup, and he like reached out to me and was like, "Hey, you want to be a cop? You want to be a developer? You want to blah blah blah?" And then he just never replied. So I was like, "Well, all right, I'm going to a new one." That's him, man. Like he'll talk to you and then when he needs you and then he just won't when you yeah yeah not consistent enough for me and like i was sitting on the fence with the whole thing and i hadn't really sort of made up my mind what i wanted to do whether i wanted to leave or stay and then he Say... just banned me for like no reason like he just banned me for being wait Swiss, yeah. winter so, yeah no way really yeah, like, I just got banned by association. They didn't even give me a chance to say anything. So, I was like, fuck you then. I'm oh, that changes my opinion on it all now. I'm glad I switched. What, who was doing the DDoS attacks? Was it, like, a player, or was it just, like, a Chinese motherfucker? Um, I don't know. We, um, we had issues to begin with just straight off the bat for getting DDoSed and then we kicked a big gang because um, they were just RDMing people and we seemed to think that they probably were involved in some of the DDoSing um, just because they were butthurt that we kicked them out but like they were ruining it for people they were just random deathmatching kids and oh Jesus <laughs> Oh yeah, so like robbing people. When you kill someone, do you just fucking loot their body pretty much? You can't loot dead bodies, so you can't actually take their stuff. <laughs> how, how do you people rob your money and shit? So it has to be done in like roleplay. So like if you're at the, if you're driving around in a something that you want, or like you're with a rival gang, or you're with someone, so. Um, drug fields and drug processing and and gang hideouts are all kill on site zones so you would just roll up on those <coughs> zones kill them and then take all their shit like lock pick their truck and take their trucks and chop shop them yeah. and stuff or like if you saw them driving down the road I would uh, I'd just like pull them over and like in role play you would uh, like get them to stop and you would zip time and shit and take all their stuff like last night we went to the drug fields we zip tied these guys took all their stuff and then held them as slaves for like an hour and a half whilst they did their run <laughs> and we took all their money and then <laughs> let them go we let them keep their shit but we took the money <laughs> well that's nice at least you let them keep their shit out fuck shit i would have expected y'all to took everything well the hammer box is like five million dollars so it's a bit rude to fucking just ruin it for someone like if it was me and i lost 
twenty million dollars in one run, I'd be pretty. Yeah, yeah, that'd be like a server quit right there. That's what I mean. So like, yeah, we took all their money from the run. We actually let them keep a bit of the money. Like, we, I think we went like sixty forty. So we made like fifteen million. We gave them five million, let them keep their truck, and they just went on their. I see. You guys are you guys are loyal with it. You guys are respectable. Yeah. We typically take a lot of like the new guys on the server as well and sort of help them get set up. And RMC's a bit good like that. They, to begin with, they weren't, but lately they've sort of been helping. Yeah, yeah, they tried helping me out. They were horrible at it, but they tried. It was a for effort. So you said you got nothing, eh? You just got the startup cash and the Yeah, fifth. that hundred grand. I pulled fifty out. I think I'm gonna grab some licenses or something. Yeah, maybe grab like a bag, like a big bag, like night vision and shit. Something like the necessities. Right, right. Uh. Two thirds done here, so I should be back. I'll be over there shortly. You'll have to come down to the drug dealer. No, no biggie. Where's the drug dealer? At? The one by uh, Pyrgos? Yeah, the one down south there is the one I've been going to. One in the theater is a bit hot, I think. So, yeah, the drug dealer south of the entire map, like in between Ferris and Chalkea. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'll be sure just grab a, a car and start heading there after I get my I'll shit set up. I'll come pick you up. Oh, dope. I'll Hell yeah. Get you from Hell yeah. So what were you playing before um, um, Eltis? Playing Cop or something? Uh, yeah, I was doing King of the Hill, uh, Invade and Annex, and I was playing on this uh, 200, I don't know, it's, it's either the 22nd or the 202nd Marine Battalion server or some shit. <clears throat> Maybe download like 48 mods for it. <laughs> and they're like asininely role-playing Marines, like it's almost too much, but it's cool. Yeah, I know those ones. I've I've been in those servers before. It's cool if you're like into it, like you can be bothered, and then sometimes you're just like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't be fucked doing with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The dude's like screaming at me to do push-ups at three in the morning for me, because they're like GMT and I'm Eastern, so they're eight in the morning. It's my three in the morning, and this dude made me wake up at three a.m. for basic combat training, and I'm like, oh, I'm cool with that. That's cool. But he's all awake and I'm not, so <laughs> no, no good. Yeah, right, uh... What? What's your uh, like time zone? Um, Mountain Standard Time up in Canada. Oh, nice. It's not too bad for me. It's like uh, 9:30. Yeah, two hours. Have you like read the server rules and stuff? Like, I've skimmed through most of them, but there's a lot of shit, <laughs> and I don't really plan on doing much outside of the rules. But now that I'm in a gang, I should probably well, gonna be ganging. I should probably uh, look at those. I'd read them just because 
when you tend to do gang shit, you sort of feather the rules a little bit. You'll be always sort of on the edge of Vardy. Yeah. You get into a gunfight and you end up just killing someone by accident. You kind of got to know the rules and sort of protect yourself a little bit. And if you sort of record your screen and stuff, that's usually a really good start. I tell everyone to record their shit. Yeah, see, I, I stream on Twitch like every time I play anyways. So I'm always live recording and all that. Yeah, that's definitely smart. Because if you lose something, server crashes, someone kills you or does something wrong, you can get yourself covered. Yep, I uh, already got something comped before the old server crashed. I had an orca that I bought, and I was, like, salt mining, and just the server crashed or whatever. And my helicopter, like, blew up, literally, but didn't, like, I didn't die. My dude was just running around. I was out in the salt field with a blown-up helicopter, like, um, hello? And I don't know who did it, but maybe Winner gave it back to me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, salt is... If you're not doing the legal shit, salt is hands down one of the best things you can do. And that and platinum, but platinum is real heavy, so you can't hold a lot. Yeah, that's what the dude is telling me. Salt's like, you can do way more. I just put my uh, 100 kilogram weight, 100 gram weight on my fucking Windows key and just sit there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that's against the rules? What, the Windows key thing? No, like if I just put like my 100 gram weight on it and walk away for a little bit, would they consider no, that? No. Yeah, yeah. Where do I find the server rules exactly? Uh, it's in the Discord under rules. I think. Oh, okay, yeah. It's easy enough. I am already live, Ask. I was going to go live like two hours ago, but I had to wake up a little bit, kind of get my day started, you know. <clears throat> you just got Roger Rogered. Rules. How you doing, Ask? How you going, man? Aw, oh, man. Was really hoping to roleplay as a serial killer today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no bueno. <laughs> So, like, what's proper initiation, then? Um, the, like, the literal form of it would be, like, telling someone to do something and then saying, if you don't do that thing, I'm going to kill you, and then giving them 10 seconds, and if they don't do the thing you want them to do, killing them would be, like, the literal form of initiation. Um, I guess being sort of creative with it is usually pretty cool, too. Like, you know, telling someone to do stuff and sort of... We, we were doing this fucking stupid shit for a while where we we ran around the map telling everyone we were doing vibe checks and so we would like pull them over tell them we're checking their vibe and then if they had a bad vibe we would basically just <laughs> tell them to drop all of their shit and if they didn't give us all their stuff it would kill them yes that was pretty funny <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> so like pretty much initiation is like hey bro do this thing or I'm gonna kill you yeah Basically, it's like I like I want your clothes, or I want your gun, or I want your truck, or I want this, or you do this for me, or get out of your truck, or if it's the cops, it's like, you know, come back here and I'm gonna kill you, or like leave me alone, or I'm gonna kill you, or you know, if the cops turn their lights and sirens on, that's initiation. Um, right. Yeah, that's it. But you have to give him ten seconds, so like ten seconds to do what you want, and if they don't value their life then they die <laughs> so whereabouts are you in pure ghost I am is that your truck right here yeah. yeah I'm over by the uh, market hey
Yeah. What's this server then? What server? In yeah, Alabama? wait, no, because like, there used to be a server called New Age. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore, brother. Virtual. Um, the tall and short of it is basically like, uh, New Age, <coughs> the owner of New Age is just kill Arthas and retail. So the no invincible, I could have told you that. <laughs> I could have fucking told you that. But man, props to you for still trying. Yeah, so Ben is one of the community managers, so now this server is run by a group of community managers, it's not run by one All right. well, that's alright, because Ben's talented and I get along with Ben. So. Yeah, so Winter was the one that's no longer around. Yeah, because I, I was on New Age, I was thinking of joining the Bunker Club last year, like a week or something, a week or two. And then it just wrapped up to all our teams and spammed in it. So, I was just like, what's this server? Oh, uh, is it really? I didn't know that. I've been banned, so from yeah, everything like, you ate. It's like the links in every channel. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so, like, yeah, and I was like, what the fuck? We haven't deleted it. Uh, I think Winter just gave up after a while. So, who's the actual owner then? Well, like I said, there's really no one owner. Oh, a bit, okay, I guess, so. well, it's community funded. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally like the whole idea was that the community essentially runs it so if you there's something that you want had to happen and you put a poll together and everyone everyone wants it like that's what's going to happen the dev team will put it together it won't be one person saying i want this or i want it but ben is one of the owners from the other um yeah, yeah, yeah. uh server that's over right. Yeah, he's a good guy. So what's it called? Rap Patrol, is it? Yeah. E U E Rap Patrol, RP. Yeah, I think it's USD, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm spending when I get on the top of the line. Is it offline or? No, it's definitely on. Yeah, it showed it, that it was offline for me as well, on there, before, when I was checking it, but it's definitely on. Good thing I never spent hours farming on the other server. Yeah. See, I refuse to farm to spend loads of time trying to make money. Well... Yeah, so currently because of everything that went Very on, stupid. Um, they're doing $20,000 per heroine and $900 per peaches, so you guys can sort of get themselves started up, and a lot of the gangs are sort of helping people out to get started up so that we can sort of, anyone who sort of got fucked over with the transfer is now sort of getting looked after. They sort of thought... They were like, oh, we'll give everyone sort of 15 mil just straight off the bat as like an entry thing. And then I don't know, we all didn't really agree on it. We kind of said if you just make it so that it's easier to make money. Then yeah, 15 mil is a bit excessive. Yeah. I'm going to have to look for a gang then. Well, we were just talking. Everyone's kind of, I'm pretty sure everyone's kind of looking. There's a few big gangs floating about. Um, is everyone Death still RMC. like... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, is like everyone's still shit at combat. Well, I like the cops are, and there's a lot of gangs that are. I don't know, like I've played a lot of COF, so because, I've like, always sort of been half decent. Yeah, like I know that it's, there is some people that are good, like Ben's, Ben's decent, but then there's other people where they're like, they can't shoot for shit. Oh, I just realized that. You're right, dude. There's probably a lot of kids that don't play King of the Hill on here, isn't there? Yeah, there's kids that don't play anything. They just come on here to make money. Like, uh, they haven't played I'm not, anything. Except... I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, but like... You no, know. you're not wrong, man. Like, There's a lot of gangs and stuff that are just no good. Yeah, like... 
like on the wager, I was I used to be police, and literally I could take over a gas station with five people. Like it was actually mad. What That'd was your great. name on the other server? Just Harvey. Okay. I used to what do you call it? I used to be a one man gang called Titan. Right, and I said no one. Well. Uh, what I said is, we run cocaine. It's not like it's a rule or whatever. Obviously, it was just like our thing. So Dude. Then, yeah. I, I said to my gang... Uh, I kind of as well. What you call it, we run cocaine. There was literally like one of us, which was... There was like three of us, but I was like the only one active. And uh, literally no one did cocaine because uh, when I was on, for some, re uh, for some reason, because a rumour just said that I'm, all, I'm, I'm really good. doing SWAT, no not SWAT training, we were doing police training on the other server, it was 6v3, I was on like a team with two of the police superintendents or whatever, and uh, they would tr they would try hard, and, you know like doing SWAT tactics or whatever, you know planning it out, I ran in the building and killed all six of them, so, yeah, the police aren't very good. Yeah, the server's not coming up for me. Oh, never mind. I know the problem. Filter ground. Hey, I'll, I'll use this one. It's uh, US East, so I get better ping. Same here. I'm from the UK, so like the other server, I was getting 160. <coughs> but now on this, I get 110. Which is high. I think I'm getting like 70. Where are you from? <laughs> Eastern United States. You uh, Ohio. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm all the way from fucking the United Kingdom. How's it over there, man? Uh, cold. Same. Windy. Same. Right, jump in, brother. I'm in. Let's ride. Yeah, I see some gangs that have already like came over, like RMC or something. New gang NG, they're actually pretty good. They're um, they're another like they're actually like not bad as far as like in game shooting and stuff. Like I reckon they're a bit of a challenge, and I found everyone else pretty pissed. The RMC, some of the people are alright because I, I remember Bones being quite decent. Waffle and Bones are really good, though, I think. So how's combat on a roleplay server compared to King of the Hill? Obviously, it's not as hectic and crazy. Oh, really? It can be, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You have a bit more on the line. Yeah, sometimes it, it's mad. Like, it depends what server, though, because obviously if you're in a server with a mile more people, it's a lot more hectic. So, like, the server that I mainly play on, it's got 120 people, like, constant. Yeah. So, like, me and my gang have, like, we, we put, like, 20 people in our gang. So, there's, like, eight of us on that. So, me and my gang were fighting another gang. Which was also fighting in another gang, and then, and then the police came in. Okay, so I can there, see. There, there was like 40 people shooting each other. But, uh, that consisted of a lot of ifrits and the camping, if you know what that is. Yep, yep. So, it's not as campy as King of the Hill, I would say. I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm interested to see how all the shit plays out, man. I'm new to the roleplay life, you know? So, it's interesting. I'm a hardcore Invade and Annex role player and shit, like Marine role player. Yeah, I think it's gonna come in to, well it might, but I'm not saying, but it probably won't. Wait, is this the same server? It's, it is essentially, like the dev team essentially took everything across. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they yeah. copied. I've got all my houses and shit. Yeah, you'll have everything for up to a week before it stopped. What do you mean? Like, they backed up from a week <coughs> from the day that oh, this server went. Yeah, it took the database. <coughs> Fair enough. Quite <coughs> lie, though. Oh, 
I mean, the dev team made it, and they're all here, so... Well, I mean, he stopped, right, because he went off with his girlfriend, and so he hired the dev team. And then the dev team are the one who put this whole map together, and they're no longer with him, they're here now, so... It's only fair that they take what... Uh, it doesn't make the whole map, it changed some stuff around. But, uh, some guy offered Winter to give him a, a map set. Cleaned it up. So. Yeah, come over here, Phil. I'm gonna give you some cash. Why, thank you, sir. Should I get some training, some guns? Use that for your uh, rebel training. Restraint on you. Restraint says in like uh Con zip ties. Yeah, zip ties. Yeah, you buy them from the rebel store. Yeah. Come over here if I'll give you this. Yeah, on the other side of it you couldn't do anything like that. Which was meh. But you can have all that. Your first gun sure, man. Paid for. Thank you, man. <coughs> How much money do you got there, Harvey? You looked after a lot. Uh, nine mil. Oh, okay, you're fine. Should I sync this data a lot? I might. Uh, no, I'm not gonna visit. Like every two minutes. Um, when you quit, uh, when you quit this game, uh, quit. It doesn't. It? It, it, all it does it sinks it to the database. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just making sure that it's stable, although we wouldn't really know. This is a brand new server. One sec. What kind of clothing do you recommend I get? I see a lot of people in blacked out clothing. Is that gang specific or is that just like. There is gang uniforms, yeah. Um. When you join one or when you troll for one, you usually just wear what they're wearing. Um, between now and then, you can just sort of wear whatever you want. I think I should spend the money on a nice vest or just get a tactical. Um, yeah, I would get a vest and helmet and stuff if you're planning on getting shot at. Ram park. Like, is a tactical um, vest worth it or is it like try to grab a nice oh, yeah, different vest? Have different vests have different like armor ratings. So like your carrier rigs have like typically your most. Um, the ones like the ones that visually have no armor on them obviously don't. So like. Uh, Carry like uh, one of the best, but then you like get the like the harnesses and stuff. They're no good. I would I'm with the the che the tactical chest rigs and stuff. Just they, those see, see where those plate carriers are. Yeah. The, yeah. These are the ones to go for. Plate carrier Mark twos are the best. Right. Let's see what vehicles I have. Um. So if you're interested in joining gangs and stuff, um. 
I mean, Death Watch, I can probably chuck your name up towards Jake and Key and stuff if you're really interested. Um, otherwise, it is, like I said, is RMC, uh, NG, No Homo, First Order joined uh, Death Watch, so now, like, Michael and that are all in Death Watch. It's a bit bigger. Oh, honestly, I'm, I'm looking for Death Watch, my guy. What's the initiation? What do I got to prove? What's up? There's really no, like, to begin with, they were doing, like, Zeus training and stuff and trying to see what people like, but it just turned out that just getting in the game and seeing how you react to being right. actually in the game and shooting people is usually just a good way to see what's in it. Come on, let's do, uh, CQ sleep. No, I'm guessing I should probably grab some zip ties. Oh, is there any gangs looking for people? everyone is at the moment. Um, Death Watch is a good one, but because we're like 80% admins, we typically get into a lot of gang wars, just people, I don't know, people trying to prove something, so you end up being in the fucking gang war, killing side with it, virtually everyone all the time. That's good. I, I like the sound of that. Um, we were in gang war with RMC, NG, No Homo, and uh, some new gang like the last few days that the server was I think everyone's just trying to make a bit of money at this point so what does everyone do with heroin I guess well it's twenty thousand dollars a piece at the moment so it's making the most it's the best helmet on the server uh so pretty sure like your heli helmets and the um Advanced modular. Or enhanced combat. Yeah, so those enhanced combat ones, uh, the heli ones, the protector helmet for CSAT. Uh, pretty sure the advanced modular helmet is the indie one. The light ones I'd probably stay away from. got to tell you when you asked me about initiation before so we have gang initiation so if you and I were in the same clothing um, if I get initiated on you get initiated gotcha so other people initiate on us like other gays or our gays well not at the moment because we were in different clothes um, but if we were in the same clothes like we identical clothing and we were in a and the gang that's listed in the gang uniforms on the Discord, then yeah, we would have gang initiation. So like right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should I not be in your clothing? That's fine, man. You can roll with it. It's all good. <laughs> so yeah, I see a lot of people run around with like machine guns when the other server was up. Is that still the go-to, like King of the Hill? Yeah, I guess. Like, um, like the gun you've got, like, <coughs> the, I think that's a fantastic gun for a 6.5 rifle. Like, it hits the pretty types, hard. Doesn't have a huge amount of. Uh, the type's also one of the. It's one of the best. Hard any recoil, fastest fire, and it's also 6.5. Yeah, it's got that 50 cal on the bottom too. Uh, but I don't think you get the 50 cal. Oh, you don't get that here. Damn. Uh, one sec, I'll check for you. Oh, uh, I run with the uh, like a. 12, 762, 30 rounds, fully on my Yeah, I roll RPK on most servers on C here, so I'll probably end up with the AK. Yeah, you can't get, um, the, 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 There's no RPK. 50 cal. Depends what type of play you are. A lot of guys are running the, um, Mark 1 EMR at the moment. But I prefer the AK-12 over it. It's got more bullet drop, but if, you, if you're going to be sniping people, you probably want to end up going like... I just invest in a decent sniper, like the um, um, like the ASP, or pick up a uh, Mar-10, something like that. So yeah, sniping on here. What do you even... How do you do that on a role-playing server? 
Well, it would be like what I was saying before, like if you're in gang initiation with someone, or if we're in a if we're in a gang war with someone, you you can either run and gun close yeah. quarters stuff if you really want to, or if you're in a drug field, obviously you probably don't want a sniper <coughs> off on you. But if um if you're in a big gang operation, you typically have someone sitting further away, sort of overlooking a little bit, I guess. Huh? Like an Overwatch sniper, I got you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's usually just like whatever you want to do. If you prefer to do more close combat stuff, do that. If you prefer to snipe, do that. Just whatever you want, really. Whatever you're better. I see. I see. I see. I see. I should probably grab a nice scope. Oh, you got one on here, man. Hmm. All right, all right. I got you. So what's what's what are you about to go do? Get some money. Yeah, it'll be one second. Are you good? Um, what are you going to do, man? Do you want to make some money? Probably need some. Yeah, I was going to say, that's my next bet, was to go probably grab a helicopter or something and money it up. <laughs> I love that. Bloop, bloop. Uh, if you want, I can just run you in this. If you don't mind doing it for you. Dude, if you don't mind, man, I'll just do a big old fat dab and kick it and talk. What are we running? Um, probably heroin, I'm not sure. I've <laughs> never done that yet. Hell yeah. What are you doing, Harvey? It's not around, I guess. Sorry, what was that? I was just asking what Harvey was doing. Oh, yeah. I haven't played on Warman in a while either, dude. I'm kind of getting nervous. That Gold Squish is coming up in a few days. I better get on. Better get the fuck on. So, how do you run heroin? <laughs> so we're gonna drive out to the heroin field, which is KOS for 150 meters, and this Tempest auto mine, so we don't have to really get out, except to fill your bag. Um. Then I've captured the gang hideout, so we'll go over to gang hideout and uh, I'll process it over there for us and then we'll guess. Copy. Um, that's the opium poppy field, right? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. So, wait, the gang hideout, you can process it? Yeah, so each gang hideout will process a different item. So, coke. Heroin, marijuana. And you, if you're in a gang, you can go and capture them, and you can process without a license. And it makes uh, the runs typically a bit short. Yeah, I see that heroin processing down there. I get it. I get it. 
downfall is that it's constant KOS, even if you've captured it or not. Except it getting that out too. Mm, I see. Is that why you don't roll with a helicopter so you're more quiet? I just don't roll with helicopters because I just enjoy, like, all the trucks hold more. Ah. Uh, they cost a lot less, so your return is virtually instant, like one run you pay this off. Um, and, yeah, helicopters are just fucking loud. If I was out there and I was camping and I heard a helicopter and I knew you had to land, I'd be fucking all over you. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay, so... Helicopter's only good for salt. No, oh, I mean they're good for everything, but I just don't. I just don't have a preference for them. Some guys do. A lot of guys buy the Huron and the Taru. Yeah, the Taru, the Huron. The fuck is a Gold Squish? You don't know about the Gold Squish, dude? So currently, the box Hemet is five and a bit million dollars to buy, and it will make thirteen million dollars in one hero run. Holy so, shit! The risk is though you have to you have to be outside filling it. It takes about half an hour to fill it on your own. And yeah, it takes about the same to process it. A half an hour? Commit to an hour of real time. Um, yeah. And the two places where you're most at risk that you're gonna spend the most time are kill on site, so you kinda of gotta be all up. Right, right. Alright, I get it now. That's not as laid back as salt at all. Like I said, salt's good if you just want to zone out and just not worry about it, because to die doing salt runs, you have to get your shit out of them. Ah, I see. Ah, I'm very interested. I didn't want to just do salt. And I don't know, what, what's like, what's the outside of gangs that you can even do on the server with money? Like, um, Watch out, laws on this uh, KOS when someone's tough, I guess. Ah, I see. What are the laws on KOS, did you say? What? I'd miss what you said. So, a gold squish, my friend. They take. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if it's getting robbed, it's KOS for 500 meters for everyone. Ah, okay. Gas stations, same. Yeah, somebody told me to rob gas stations. They were OP, they were like, you used to be able to get half a million dollars out of a gas station every 10 minutes, and they dropped it down to like 150 to 200. Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty crazy. So, okay, Gold Squish. Uh, they're going to take every, on February 17th, this month, five days, they're going to take every single coin, gold, in every like? inventory, every bank, every auction house uh, in entry, every single like mailbox entry, like if you have shit in your mail sitting, it's going to get halved, everything in the auction house gets halved, everything gets halved, 50%. You got 100 gold, you're going to log on 18th or the 17th, you're going to have 500. You got 1,000, you're going to have 500. So what everybody's doing is gathering resources that they can't have. To anything other than being killed in it, I'll get comped for it for that. Is that what I said? No, I just know. Like, I'm not gonna crash it, and the only one I'm gonna die is if <laughs> someone shoots me out of it. Yeah, it's gonna. Well, it's bullshit. If it crashes because the game crashes or the server goes down, you'll get looked after for it. It's just how it goes. Yeah, I know that, but like. In a gang called ARD. What the fuck is that? ARD. So 
do you have like a route planned out for this run in the Hemet? In the Tempest, you mean? Well, like just yeah, the Tempest. The do you have like the way you go pretty much down peg? Not really, man. I don't take it that seriously. I just get in and drive there, and if there's people there, they give me my gunfire. It's pretty much how it works. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, when there's people there, what do you do? You just, you just shoot the fuck out of them, just kill on sight, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it's KOS same, so... I don't know, you can do it however you want. Some guys would be like, they want to park further away and crawl up and kill them silently, or you just fucking roll in there and shoot at them. Most guys, that works typically because people who play these Alpha Slap servers just get so frazzled when you just fucking roll up and jump <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember getting frazzled when I started this game, dude. Oh, I wish I got frazzled still. Dude, I remember when I bought this game, I was so hyped to start pl like flying helicopters. And uh, it took me a good three hours to figure out how to take off. And not die. This game was a big old mystery. So, we can mine in this truck without getting out, but if you want to get out and just sort of cruise around and see if you can find anyone, feel free. What, what you mean? Like, cruise out? It's KOS zone, like, so you can get out, and if there's anyone there, you can shoot them with no issues. Well, aren't they going to be helping you farm? You don't have to. There's the auto mines. You're just going to sit there and wait for it to finish. Oh, so this truck mines it? Ah. It doesn't carry as much as the helmet box, but I'm just lazy. You just have to sit there and wait for it to finish and we're done. I'd get out and you have to fill your own bag manually, or you can let it mine and take it out of the truck into your bag, whatever you want to do. Right. <coughs> Where are you robbing people, Harvey, down in Kabbalah? He's busy robbing people. <sighs> Excuse me, Twitch. Rolling up to this opium field right here. We're gonna mine some, well, we're gonna harvest some fucking heroin and we're gonna fucking keep our eyes peeled for the assholes out there trying to get one over on us. Just gonna do a quick lap around. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. See no one. Yeah, me neither. Oh, yeah, I hear that shit just fucking going. I've heard his voice before somewhere, like in one of the NG groups. Yeah, his RMC guy just got up.
Do you play first person or third? Um, probably both, really. Depends. You'd be stupid not to at least do a little bit of third person seeing as everyone else is. Right. I think of this run will make about four mil. Ooh, damn. It's not too bad, really. So yeah, should I uh, fill my bag? Yeah, so when we're almost finished, you can just jump in the truck and with the tea menu, you can just take out whatever fits in your bag and I'll just keep letting it lie. Or oh, okay, I gotcha. Or you can come over here and collect it yourself, whatever you want to do. A helicopter coming in. Yeah, so we're almost done. He's circling back. He's uh, hovering over. It's this one guy. I think I'm just going to be friendly with this guy, actually. We'll just let people do it.
Yes, he is. Cool. Well, we're going to go to gang hideout. Hopefully he doesn't know there's two of us. And uh, if he follows us there, then he follows Then he gets himself fucked. Hey, uh, Lord, are you in Death Watch? Mm hmm Alright, um, you mind if I use the fucking heroin field for now? Is that you over there? No, I'm, I'm loading into the game right now. Is I'm asking so I don't get there. fucking shot before. Yeah, no, you're right, man. Yeah, um, if there's some people bothering you, I could, um, I could bring some shit over if they're bothering you. Like, we, um, I'm just helping out this new guy if I get some money. So I'm just taking him over to gang hideout now, but... There's two guys over there, I don't know who they are, but... Alright. So if you run over there, just watch yourself. Alright, thanks. You have some fun, bro. Let's respect. Rank every WoW X-Pack from Vanilla to Warlords of Draenor. Wrath Lich King number one. Vanilla number two. Burning Crusade number three. Cataclysm. Warlords. Really Mists. Legion. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Oh, yeah. Harvey just killed it. Well, but yeah. Hell yeah. So I've got to assume that that was RMC at yeah, the drug. Probably. Dude was coming to rob us. He saw another helicopter fly up. He turned around. Unless they're two different flows. Could be. I'm keeping an eye in the air. So when we get to this gang hideout, it's kill on site for 150 meters. So if you see anyone inside the two complexes, aside from myself, just shoot them. Because just they're wreck not them. there for any other reason except to rob us. <coughs> I only say that because of pandas. Uh, Mists was awesome. I actually got the collector's edition. I got that cool green, like, flappy wing mount. And, uh, it... It was awesome. I just had a hickling for the fucking pandas, man. That's it. It was the pandas. I just... I, fucking pandas, dude. I haven't played retail in so long, I forgot pandas are in the fucking game. It is an awesome mount, though. The jade uh, mount. It's awesome. But... Yeah, I don't fucking... I don't fuck around. So how exactly would that dude uh, pull us over in a helicopter, you know? Like, we can't hear him through direct... Well, he wouldn't. He'd he would get out. Land. Yeah. But, like, when he was standing right over us, he was within 150 meters of the drug field, so I could have just shot him out of his heli. Oh, I should have stayed on the ground and just fucking blipped him. That's what I mean, but, like, trying to be, like, a good bloke about it because everyone kind of got fucked over with the, ch the, the server switch. Like, yeah. You know. And seeing as drug prices are higher, everyone's going for that stuff. So, like, there's only, like, six people on the server, so I'm trying not to fuck anyone over. But if there was 40 people on the server and a bunch oh, yeah. of things on, he would be fucking dead. He'd be fucking pieced. Yeah. I'm rolling up to this thing now. Yeah, I, I, I didn't actually care about pandas. I did enjoy the expansion. Um... Garrisons, though. Which one did Garrisons come out in? Was that Warlords or, or Pandas? Because Garrisons was just a fucking horrible idea. It was a good idea that was horribly implemented. Terrible, terrible implementation. So the doors open on the southern building. We didn't go into the northern, northwestern build. The northeastern building, sorry. So if there's doors open in the northeastern building, just expect people to be... <clears throat> have a negative on doors these doors is that you in game oh yeah shit my bad <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong push attack oops those warlords okay good alright man I'm gonna go process you just sort of hang around and watch for people let me know I think I should uh, stick it in the truck, or should I get on a building? Knock it out.
So the kill on site zone you can see is in the red, on the, or in the yellow rather. Yeah. So if you see someone other than me in there, you're good to go. <coughs> and I wouldn't be nice about it at gang areas, man. Like, they're not here to process. If they're here to here without a vehicle, they're here to kill us. So I wouldn't be nice about it like we were at the gang fields. Good job. Right, right. That's you in the other building, right? I'm standing in the window now. Yeah, okay, I'm out on the balcony. I figured somebody wouldn't be in your building, so... I don't have any sound or movement. <clears throat> I hear wind. at the southwestern point of the town searching ain't nothing creeping you ain't still in the gang hotel oh yeah yeah I'm still just perusing around the houses in the zone Me walking around the, the building now. Breath. Dude, I wish you could have experienced it during retail. Man, it was fucking epic. It was epic. It was absolutely fundamentally 
epic. It was not nearly as epic as when Burning Crusade dropped, but when Wrath dropped, it was pretty epic. I mean, for me at least, Burning Crusade was just so, so overly, astoundingly amazing to me. Plus, I was younger, so. I'm only a building over. I'll check that pick in a minute. Let me get to some safety here. in your building now. That's a lot of rare fucking mounts. The Blizzard Murloc Bear on the right, the fucking Phoenix. I don't even, never even seen that long ass turtle looking mount. Never even seen that crazy ass frost mechanic mount. There's your favorite. There's, there's your favorite mount. The one that you're trying so damn hard to get. Still got that OP mini bag. That what? Yeah. Yeah. Still got that. Do you want to go down to the truck? Um, uh, and access the trunk and just switch out what you've got for process stuff. So you've got process stuff on you. Yeah, I didn't get a lot because we were like got the helicopter on this. Yeah, just I whatever agree. you got. Just watch, switch it out for heroin. Put your poppy in your truck and take the heroin. Oh shit, I only had five. That's not good. So, should I take out the heroin? Yep, just fill your bag with heroin. Copy. That mount has an auction house on it, are you fucking serious? I don't even want to talk about the fact that there's fucking mounts that have auction houses on them. I don't even want to think about it. It's getting that time of day where I keep that bad boy out.
military when you go down here. 48. Holy shit. It's worth a mill? Yeah. So I'm about to finish, so do you want to head down to the truck and we'll dip out? I'm at the truck, boy. I gave you keys so you can unlock it and stuff. Nice. Probably more than two fucking mil, knowing Blizzard. So we're gonna go sell this, and I'm gonna give you all the money we make from this run, so that you can get yourself set up with a truck. And... Did you sure, man? Yeah, man. I don't need the money. Yeah. And if you want to join a gang, or if you want to join Deathwatch, you're going to need some cash to fund, to float weapons and stuff, because we typically burn through weapons pretty quickly, just fucking constantly getting into fight. So do you prefer playing at night or day? Uh, either or. I don't mind either. Day's good, I guess. You can see everything, but night's good because their uniform's black, so you sort of blend into it. Right. Yeah, if only if it was added in Warlords. So we're going back down to the drug dealer, right? Yeah, man. It's true. Would have been such an easy mount to obtain. How'd you have two and a half mil? Would you buy gold? Would you buy gold from? <sighs> Buying gold. It's for pussies. Oh, you farmed it? Holy shit. How'd you farm two mil? Two and a half mil. Uh, yeah, I guess Warlords was when gold was starting to get, like... Why even have it? Flex in the lights <laughs> before the night time's over. <laughs> so, Lord, are you we are you marijuana friendly? Like, real life. Yeah. I got nothing against it. I do it personally, but oh it's yeah, legal in Canada. So. Oh, you're in Canada. Nice, nice. That's right. I forgot it's legal there.
So, like, is everybody high as piss over in Canada? They can be, yeah. <laughs> I've always wondered if it gets, like, nationally legal somewhere, if, like, everyone just starts smoking. It's interesting. I didn't really notice too much of a difference. They opened a big plant um, near me. Like, there's, like, 900 employees there, and they, like, big production plant. Um, and there's, like, four stores in town that sell it, but... I haven't really, no one really talks about it or, I mean, it's legal now, so no one really gives a shit. You can yeah. it some places, sometimes, and I don't really care. <coughs> anything. That's cool. It's dope. I lived my whole life, like, know some friends that went to jail for, like, 20 years for selling weed. Like, just stupid scare, U.S. scare over nothing, the drug war. So it's interesting to hear about other countries, what they do with it. Interesting there, uh, like the people who got in trouble for it, you know, a couple of years ago, serving time for it. You know, do they get let out now because it's legal? Or nope. It's pretty rough, eh? That's how United States law works. They would have to go through like four years of like Supreme Court appeals, which I think they are, but they're just not out yet. Because you know, four years of appeal of appeals rather than twenty in jail is way better. But you still go through years of going through like Supreme Court and shit, having them reverse charges from law like you have to pretty much go against our constitution to get people out of jail for crimes that we fucked up on mm. uh, america's stupid <laughs> now granted i think they would still get some sort of legal charge for what they were doing because it wasn't like they were just smoking it, it, it wasn't legal at the time right even even at that, it wouldn't be legal now. They were pushing so much of it that they would have needed a license, even if it was legal now. And they, you know, they would find some loophole to keep them in jail. It's actually gotten worse in Canada. Like the the charges if you caught selling it illegally is worse now than what it was before. Oh really? Yeah. Dude, no shit. So they tax it more, and then they make the Right on for getting caught with it illegally. Shit. Wow, that was a mill. Holy shit. Over here, they barely tell you about not doing drugs in school. They just say, don't take drugs. They're bad. All the people telling you not to take drugs just have to say that so that they don't get in trouble. Oh, shit. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, man. What the fuck? It's a lot so of fucking gonna, money. We're going to go down to Rebel and we can still eat. Yeah, got to get that in the bank. Because... You fucking Norwegians. In your actual bank when you've got it on you, you can be robbed for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know that part. Now, when the Federal Reserve gets robbed, does that come out of your bank? Uh, no, it doesn't actually. Oh, well, that would be a cool mechanic. Yeah. So they, um, there's 50 gold bars, and each gold bar is worth 150,000, I think. Yeah, look. At, let's go to a high school. Tell me how many people are doing drugs. Federal Reserve is KOS five hundred meters for every person on the server, not just cops and you. So, cops will roll up and attack you, and then you'll also have every other gang there as well, trying to shoot you. Where at? Their hands on some money as well at the Federal Reserve. Ah, uh, 
So if you see the Federal Reserve going off, you can literally just drive over there into the yellow zone and start killing people. Hell yeah. Starting to get a feel for what this is about. Yeah, why would they be trying to hide it? The fuck? I have four missed calls from this number. Shit, we here. Dude, nice. How much money you got? Five mil. Nice, man. So, I'm going to jump off and I'm going to go uh, grab some food and walk my dog and stuff. So, you've got the keys to my Tempest. You can use it for as long as you want. You can go do heroin, you can go do salt, do whatever you um, I would personally go do salt with it just because heroin, there's going to be a lot of people there. Um, just because you've got the keys to it, they won't stay in your garage it'll just go back to my garage after a restart so whenever you're done with it just go hide it somewhere and uh you to mine from it you just walk up to it use your windows key and just say mine from device and it'll huh. auto mine for you um but when it auto mines it uses fuel so if you're not full of fuel when you're in the field it's probably going to run out so take these use them like as ah. backup in case I get stuck otherwise just stop past the fuel station on your run um, see how you go earn yourself some money and if you're still keen on joining a gang when we all get back on later I'll tell the boys and you can run with us for a bit but like I said try and make yourself about 10 mil and go hell yeah I'm probably gonna go make 10 mil in the next hour or two well two or three hours <laughs> yeah man I'd stay away from drugs if you're on your own um, unless you're real confident and you like shooting and stuff just because there's just a lot of variables like people could just be sitting there waiting for you and stuff so i would just go run i'd just go run salt or something or platinum or some bullshit and just take it in. yeah probably gonna do some salt man i really appreciate it do you sure you want me to take that yeah okay man no dramas like Hell i said yeah. when you're done with it just go hide it somewhere so it doesn't because if it explodes that's it it'll i won't get it back again so just uh, have you got repair kits on you by the way uh no i'll grab some real quick I'd grab a bunch of them just in case you run into a rock or something, and buy some uh, buy some first aid kits because if you run into shit, you'll lose health. How do I use those? Uh, when you take damage below seventy-five of your health, it's on your scroll. Whip. Oh, okay. I'm at seventy-seven. Yeah. But if you uh, if you wear your seatbelt in the car, you won't lose health if you run into stuff. Yeah, I usually I figured that out the hard way. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, I really fucking appreciate it, man. Yeah, I think I got everything I need. What's tactical is tactical bacon like the best food?
Alright, man. Have fun. Might see you a bit later. Alrighty, man. Yeah, I'll be on, brother. Just so you're aware, um, RMC and Lewis, they're all at um, drug field. They're all at the drug field? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't doing no drugs. Load that. What do you mean? How do you know so little? What don't you know? What do you know? What do you want to know? I know some stuff, some things. Um. So here's what you can do. Definitely going to want to learn up on ICC. Everybody says Wrath is like ICC Simulator. It's not. You can do so much more. PvP is awesome in Wrath of the Lich King. Um, arenas are great. ICC is great. There's another raid. I forgot. What is it? Ruby, Ruby Sanctum is awesome. It's a good fight. Um, Ulduar. Ulduar is really fucking fun. It's just, like, I remember when Ulduar was the raid that was out, when it, it was, like, retail. Like, there wasn't ICC yet, it was Ulduar, and it was just so badass, dude. Like, it was it was all new. Everything was new. It was the first time they ever did any of that crazy shit with, like, the mechanics of a raid. It was just great. Alright, I think I should do a dab, because I, I have one right here, sitting here, but I never did it. I'll call my buddy, see what he's doing real quick. See if he answer. Peace. All right, what's the temperature? Forty one over here in the Ohio go to Ohio.
Not Celsius. Not Celsius. <laughs> Fahrenheit, my friend. Fahrenheit. We use Fahrenheit. <laughs> Second, you were like, huh? I was like, yeah, no. We're dumb Americans. We don't know how to use one fucking metric system. One system of metrics, you know? We just... Bunch of assholes. Yeah, that would be really fucking warm, dude. It's Jake. It's warmer over there? What temperature is it for you right now, man? <laughs> he robbed him back. <laughs> Just got rest in peace.
it's two degrees Celsius over here. Oh, it's a it's it's a little warmer over there, huh? I see. I see. Much warmer than us. I really am going to try to hop on some more main later. Just got to freaking <coughs> make sure the girlfriend ain't going to be mad at me. I just flipped dude's vehicle. That thing flipped like a fucking pancake. sick too so excuse my coffee fucky ass boys
Oh. That damn hurt. Just a little bit. Oh my god. What? That was ridiculous. How so? Is that you calling me, James? Unos mas second. I may need to mute my microphone. Hello. What's up, James? Was that you calling me uh, off that 915 number? Yeah, that was me. Oh, okay. What's up? Yeah. What's up? You want to make 30 bucks? Uh, sh how? All you got to do is drop me off on my dad's. Where's your dad's? Uh, right when you hop off the... He's right next to the airport. I'll give you 30 bucks. Um, what? How far is it? You can't say that that's not fair payment. You can't say that. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, 30 bucks. Jesus Christ. I really need to make sure I can get down there. <laughs> when? Uh, I guess as uh, soon as possible thing. And then if you want to stick around, I'd do a bunch of drugs with you, too. Uh, like, I'll pay you generously if you do this for me. I, the drugs I'm cool on. I'm sick. Well, then I'll give you, I'll give you money. Yeah, like you just need to go as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. My dad, he's uh, he's at a nursing home, and uh, he needs a cell phone to be able to call down to Tennessee to get his birth certificate, so he can go get to an assisted living building rather than a fucking nursing home. Right. And so I got to go get him a cell phone. So I got to go get him a cell phone. So he's paying for it, but I have to use since he doesn't have an ID because he has to get all of Tennessee. I need to go get it for him, and I don't have a car. So I they kind of making generous offers to a shitload of people. Like how this one dude I know, I know you'd have to, he would have to borrow his mom's car. I offered him fifty bucks. Like, hey, do it. <laughs> huh? He was like, hey, dude, do it. Borrow the car. 
Wait, where's the yeah, which well, airport? You said no. Huh? Which airport? Um, Hopkins. Like honestly, once you get me, we hop on four eighty. It's like five minutes. It's really not far. It sounds far, but it, it's not like. No, I know where not. I know where Hopkins <laughs> is, bro. I'm not worried about how far it is. I just gotta make sure that I'm not gonna get a call in literally forty five minutes and not be here when I need to be here. <clears throat> let me let me hear. Let oh me yeah, we're right no, 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 but that's what I'm waiting on a call for. Oh, in case they want you to come in. Yeah, yeah, if I get called to a school. By 2 o'clock, right. 2 o'clock I won't get a call, but it's one ten. I could still get a call very easily. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I could right now. I'm nervous as piss. You, just, you just don't want to come and get me, and then you get the phone call. And then lose my job, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you wouldn't lose your job. I'd say go ahead and fill your shit. No, I wouldn't be able to get there in time. Coming. I wouldn't be able to get there in time. They would know. Great. I imagine my house is closer than all your schools. No, it's not. It's closer. It's closer for all your schools. It's I'm not saying. about how close it is. My school is four minutes, uh, four minutes off of Ridge from me. Right now, it's right off Denison. Wait, what are you doing? Like going to Rhodes or something? Cause you're, you're Cleveland, right? It's uh, shit. Which school is it? Let me look at my book. Okay, there's oh. Mooney, Rhodes. Uh, it's either Wade, it's either cool. Wade. Uh, uh, constellation, cool. It's not, yeah, it's not Wade. Wade's or not. Old, or the old constellation school. Wade's not a constellation. Like about. No, it's right past that constellation school. Fuck, it's uh Harper, who uh, H starts with hey. an H. William Rudy Harper. I think so. Yeah, it's like five minutes off of like Ridge and Denison over there. Yeah, that's right off Fulton. I, I don't exactly. Oh yeah, Fulton, Fulton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got like a silver front yeah. face to it. That's where like my boss is right now. And if he needs me to be there, I gotta. Be, he he thinks I'm at one of my schools that are right next to it, and uh, I can't. Oh, uh, I'm gonna guess you're at home doing dads. Yep. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess I'll hit you up at two. See what the word is. Yeah, I should be good, though. I should be hey, good. Well, yeah, well, I don't, I don't want you to come down and get in trouble. I don't want you to do that. No, and I won't get in trouble in, like, a half hour, 45 minutes. Like, a little bit before 2, I'll know, so. Maybe 2. If I don't call uh, by 2, call me. Okay. Hell yeah. Because, like, I can totally Alrighty, do what it. You do get called in? What, time, what time do you think you'll be free? Oh, if I do, it'll be, like, shortly, like, 2.30. 245. Oh, okay. I just have to go there. Pretty much and, like, before talk Tealy's. Them. What? That's a good thing to estimate. Like, before uh, 3 at the latest, that'd be a good thing to... At the... Yeah, like, like the latest. Board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, latest 3, 330. Okay. But, like, I can for sure do it, my guy. Hey, right, cool, because, uh... Yeah, he, uh... Well, he's also flunked me, like, quite a bit of fucking money, so... Because, uh, like, from... Last January, January 19th, all the way until now, Social Security owes him for every month. Ooh, he getting money. You kidding me? I told him, like, when I went to go yesterday to go do it, cause, like, I, I had a way up there. Rachel let me use the car. So I went up there, <coughs> and the mental PCS was just closed, and I had orientation to go to. So I was like, shit, I'm not able to, you know, grab this or whatever. So, uh, you know, I went to, uh, well, I went to get the car from him, and he, he was looking dead at me, and he was like, Boy, you lose this card, I'll fucking kill you. I'm like, Damn, I won't lose the fucking card. Yeah, I did the math on it. It's probably like thirteen grand on the bitch. Ooh. Ooh. You wanna go outside, puppy? Let me make sure the gate's locked. So yeah, I mean, I can totally, get, I, I got you for sure. I can kind of start prying at him to see if he's gonna need me or not here in the next ten. Okay. Start texting him like, hey, it's the work. How's it looking? Yeah, I'll definitely, you know, I'll definitely pay you good for the time because I understand it's kind of like usually I don't ask people to take me because when they take me, I'm kind of stranded and shit like that. Or I got to sit there, you know, my dad wants me to sit with them for a little bit, you know, just just to see me. So I usually don't ask people, but I ain't fucking hopping on the bus and going on to the fucking transit center to go to the fuck. I ain't fucking doing that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that shit. I hate the fucking bus. I hate it with a passion. Oh, one second. 
Sorry, one second, I'm texting. I'm just messaging him. Oh, I got, I, yeah, I can tell by the... Sorry, Ask Aladdin. Uh, by the way, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> Sorry, Ask. I'm talking to my buddy on the phone. Oh, yeah, so, um... Wait, wait, hold on one second. Let me fucking... Let me fucking pause this. Damn. What the fuck? Dude, how are you watching my video from Norway if your fucking download speed is 2.11? Bro. Props to you, dude. Hold on, that I'm not talking to you, James. I'm talking to my boy over here, Ask. He's fucking sent me a picture. He's like, man, my internet's fast as fuck, boy. 2.11 megabytes down per second. That's terrible. I'm paying for 300 right now, and I'm not even getting it. He's like, I have no fucking idea how I'm watching you right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> in my in your 2 megapixels a second, like. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Oh, bro. Shit. Um, wait, and then I'm assuming you need me to go take you to get those things? Yeah, well, if that happens, I can either get them dropped off or they're, like, legit down the street, either on 54th or, uh, 36th. Not your 54th, my I know, I was gonna say, not Parma's 54th, right? <laughs> yeah, not yet, not Parma's 54th. <laughs> Unless we went back here up and kicked it, then we, then we would go to Rob. Like, I'm down to kick it, too. I ain't doing shit. I'll start working on next week. 160p. That's the best. That's the best quality. Fuck 1080. You got 160. <laughs> Fuck that four digits. We don't need the fourth. <laughs> uh. Um. Yeah, I mean, I could chill and do shit, all that good stuff. Just give me a minute here. Let me let me fucking see what's going on. I'll let you know about two uh, 145, 2 o'clock, what's going on. Okay. Probably earlier, because I just messaged him. Okay. Alrighty, man. Peace. All right, off the phone now. Sorry about that, everybody.
props to you. I think so. It might be like three or four times, but it is accelerated, definitely. Dude, how does your internet fluctuate that fucking much? That's crazy. I know right now I'm getting 98 to like 105. Oh. Yeah, I guess it does fluctuate. It fluctuates. It's weird. It's fucking very weird. Because Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. Coming up. Love is in the air. In Act of Blizzard. <laughs> Ask, I've still yet to talk to you on fucking Discord, man. I want to talk to you on Discord. Yeah, it's all right. You seem to be in a call with someone a lot. Same with me. I'm always in calls with people. I'm just gonna let this thing do its thing.
lots of money. Lots of money. It's like a mil and a half. Two mil. Almost. Sending it. Dude, I've had pizza the last three days. Three fucking days. Oh, where's a gas station from here? Fantastic fucking pizza. Fantastic pizza. Wait a fucking minute. Okay, let's get our asses over here. Turn that goddamn sound down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give my buddy a ride here soon. In the next half hour. I'll give him a little ride. I'll be back tonight. Hopefully you're not sleeping. You might be sleeping. It's like what? 738 o'clock for you, man. I'll try I'll, I'll try to get back on and stream for you on the war mains. We can play together like when you're up tomorrow maybe or during your evening. Dude, I'm getting blown up. What did I just smack a rock? 
the fuck?
My PP pee -pee small. Student's name is My PP small. Yeah, most creative name. Small as in S M O L as well. It's the best way to spell small. Excuse me. I think we'll get us a dab going since we're sitting here doing nothing. Processing fucking salt. You know? We process this is salt. I put the scrat right in your fucking. Right on his fucking pisser. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all your fucking money and salt. I want all the salt processed right now. Give me 
me your fucking money. Oh, this gets boring. Oh, I'm supposed to do a dab, so I'm not as bored. Reload full mags. Process is the sort. Things better be getting hot soon. Here. here we go. She's hot. Sounds so loud. Get back on the highway.
Any cool quest line? Oh, dude. I used to know so many. I don't remember anymore. Um, cool quest line. I fucking biffed that fence. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't know any top off off the top of my head. Google, bro. Google. If you're talking Wrath of the Lich King, or retail for sure, Google. Wrath, I might be able to conjure something up. Hold on. Yeah, no. I can't remember any of the quest lines, dude. I used to know, like, vanilla quest lines that were epic as fuck. Like, the Hunter Legendary Bow. That's an epic quest line. Level 80 Shaman Totem quest, or sh something with a Shaman at level 80. It's pretty epic. Yeah, Wrath. The level 80 legendary hunter bow quest. Pretty badass. More of like 12 quests in a quest line. All of which are like quest lines in themselves. Better another Wrath Gate? What's it about? What do you do? It's a hoarder alliance or neutral. What is the what is the outcome? Like what do you get at the end? Ah, uh, Battle for the Undercity. I remember that.
almost three mil. Gonna go hide, dude. Shit. Yeah, at least I got something to do now. Hell yeah. I love Sabaton. Sabaton's the best. That looks pretty hidden to me. <clears throat> looks pretty hidden to me. Oh. All right, boys. Ask thanks for sticking by, man.
I'll be on a little bit later. Hopefully you're still up. If not, I mean, like, I might stream in the next two hours. I might come back and stream before my girlfriend gets off work after I pick up my buddy and give him a ride. So, I might see you in a few hours if you're stopping in, man. Keep sabotaging it up and enjoy some wild for me.